Several viewers have suggested that I try out the AI lip sync tool Dreamface, so I did. And initially, it was not good. And that's because there's a few different tools and methods for creating an AI lip sync video in Dreamface, and of course, I tried all the wrong things first. So let's take a look at Dreamface, and I'll show you what not to do and what works best. First, I use the avatar video tool. I uploaded an image that I had created in OpenArt and audio I generated in Eleven Labs. And here's what I got. It may look like I'm deep in thought, but I'm really just counting the seconds until you stop watching me. It animated the face and some very subtle head movement, but nothing else, not even the steam rising from the coffee cup. I tried to create a lip sync with this image, but it gave me an error saying there were multiple faces. So I tried another one. My voice is synthetic, my emotions are estimated, and my patience, well, that part's definitely real. It turned out okay, but not amazing. Then this guy. I've been standing here 10 minutes and already seen two arguments, a jogger in jeans and a guy walking a ferret. I realize he wasn't moving much, but his shadow isn't moving at all. Now for this guy, we don't have any shadows. Honestly, I just came out here to reset my Wi-Fi. The signal's better next to this wall than inside my apartment. The animation isn't bad, but it isn't great, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but it created a square around the guy's head that's a little bit lighter than the area around it. So I tried this 3D cartoon character. There's a real good reason I'm doing this lip sync right now, but it's highly classified and imaginary. And that was a total bust. The lower half of his face is morphing and spots disappear and reappear. So far, I'm not impressed, but Dreamface has a dedicated pet lip sync tool, so I thought I'd give that a try. Here's a talking cat. I didn't ask to be generated, animated, or lip synced, but here we are. I hope you're amused. That didn't turn out as well as I had hoped, so let's try a dog. I once trained for months to win a staring contest with a toaster, and I regret none of it. Just like the cat lip sync, it gets the point across, but isn't exactly smooth. So I was poking around Dreamface, trying to figure out what I was missing, and I found this Dream Avatar 2.0 tool and thought, maybe this is what everybody's talking about. It works pretty much the same way as the Avatar video tool, so I gave it an image and the audio. It may look like I'm deep in thought, but I'm really just counting the seconds until you stop watching me. Uh, so that tool zooms in and creates a 512 by 512 video, and I don't know what the weird flashes of red light are. Here's another one. I've been standing here 10 minutes and already seen two arguments, a jogger in jeans and a guy walking a ferret. That made parts of the image look like a cartoon. Okay, but this tool isn't rejecting this image, saying there's multiple faces. This guy over here been aggressively typing on his phone for 10 stops. Either it's a breakup or the world's angriest grocery list. The animation is weird and it gives her cartoon teeth. My voice is synthetic, my emotions are estimated, and my patience, well, that part's definitely real. Yeah, her mouth went fuzzy a few times, we got the weird red light flashes, and overall the 512 by 512 zoom is just not cool. Then it occurred to me, one of the people that recommended Dreamface talked about making a video in Kling and then bringing it into Dreamface to generate the lip sync. Could that be the trick? So I took these images over to Kling and generated some simple videos with prompts like, the woman is looking at the camera while speaking. Then, instead of generating my AI lip sync from the images, I used the videos that I just created in Kling as the source or starting point for the visual part of the AI lip sync video. Still with my audio from Eleven Labs and and this is back in the avatar video tool on Dreamface, the one I started in. It may look like I'm deep in thought, but I'm really just counting the seconds until you stop watching me. Hey, the steam from the coffee is moving and the entire woman is animated, not just her mouth. And if you notice that the steam off the coffee went in reverse at the very end, like back into the coffee cup, it wasn't like that in the video that I exported from Kling, so I'm assuming since my audio is longer than my video, Dreamface ran it through forward and then just put it in reverse and ran it backward to make the video long enough for the entire audio. For this lady, when I gave it the video instead of an image, it did not complain that there was more than one face in there. This guy over here been aggressively typing on his phone for 10 stops. Either it's a breakup or the world's angriest grocery list. Much better than the Dream Avatar 2.0 tool. My only criticism would be too much head nodding, but that was in the video I generated in Kling, and it looked fine. It just doesn't line up with what she's saying in this audio. My voice is synthetic, my emotions are estimated, and my patience, well, 
That part's definitely real. This one also has a little extra head nodding, but not bad. I've been standing here 10 minutes and already seen two arguments, a jogger in jeans and a guy walking a ferret. All right, his shadow moves when he moves. Honestly, I just came out here to reset my Wi-Fi. The signal's better next to this wall than inside my apartment. I like the hand gesturing in there. His face was a little weird when he paused his speech, but overall, this one came out pretty good. Now, so far for these, I'm using the videos that I generated in Kling, but Dreamface also has an AI video generation tool. So I use that tool here in Dreamface to turn this cartoon image into a video and then use that video as the source for the lip sync. There's a real good reason I'm doing this lip sync right now, but it's highly classified and imaginary. Weird things are happening around his mouth, and I was really confused about why it created this lip sync at such a low resolution. So I went back and found that the Dreamface video generator produced this in really low resolution. So that's what I ended up putting in the lip sync tool, and it just reproduced the size that I gave it. I wondered if the cat and dog lip syncs would turn out better if I used videos as the source instead of images. So I took those images over to Kling, whipped up a couple of videos real quick, and brought them back in. Now, unfortunately, on Dreamface, the pet lip sync tool will only take an image, not a video. So I couldn't use it there, but I thought, what the heck, let's try it in avatar video and see how it does. I didn't ask to be generated, animated, or lip synced, but here we are. I hope you're amused. Yeah, not good. It doesn't seem to know where the cat's mouth is. I once trained for months to win a staring contest with a toaster, and I regret none of it. Nope, didn't work for the dog either. Hey, it was worth a shot. To create a lip sync video on Dreamface, we're gonna go to dreamfaceapp.com. They also have mobile apps. I'm just gonna use the web. Up across the top where it says AI tools, you can get in from there. Video lip sync, photo lip sync, and talking video all take you to the same lip sync tool for people. And then pet lip sync and talking animal, both of those take you to the same tool called pet lip sync. You can also just come down here and click try now on the web, and that brings you right in. Now you will need to log in or sign up. I couldn't get it to create an account from my email address, I ended up using Google. It also has Apple login. Once you log in, it drops you here on the avatar video page. Over on the left, we either need to select or upload a photo or video to use for our lip sync video. Now, when you first come in, you'll see it has some templates in here that you can use if you wanna use one of their characters, or of course you can upload your own. And that's what we're gonna do. I'll just click the button there and we can upload a photo or video from our computer or upload via mobile using this QR code. I'm gonna go from my computer. When this wheel stops spinning, that means the photo or video has uploaded. It doesn't show it to you here on this modal, but over on the left you can see it, even though it's kind of grayed out, you'll be able to tell that it's there. So we'll close that out, make sure we've got her selected, which we do. And of course we're using a video, not a photo, because we learned that the videos turn out much better. Now over on the right, we provide the audio where it says, want avatar to say. They do have text to speech built in. You can type in your script, whatever you want to be said here, and then select a voice. Come down and click this little voice button. They have a selection of voices to choose from. Some are available in all plans and some are available in pro only. Just to sample a couple of these voices, here's Andrew. Hello, welcome to Dreamface. We hope you have a wonderful day. Hello, welcome to Dreamface. We hope you have a wonderful day. Alice. Hello, welcome to Dreamface. We hope you have a wonderful day. Ethan. Hello, welcome to Dreamface. We hope you have a wonderful day. In the pro voices, here's Olivia. Hello. Welcome to Dreamface. We hope you have a wonderful day. Here's David under Pro. Hello. Welcome to Dreamface. We hope you have a wonderful day. And Grace. Hello. Welcome to Dreamface. We hope you have a wonderful day. Not going to go through all the voices because there are quite a few, far more than we would want to sample at one time here. You can also create a new voice by clicking that button and you can record or upload 60 seconds of your voice. It says a minimum of at least 10 seconds. And you could either record your voice directly through Dreamface to create the clone or upload an audio sample you have. We're not gonna do that. I'm gonna switch back and go to this audio tab because I wanna upload my own audio. Now you could also just record your audio directly in Dreamface. Not creating a voice clone, but just recording what you want this character to say. Now my voice probably wouldn't make sense for this character. Fortunately, I have some audio ready for her. Now, it will not let you just drag and drop the audio in there. If you do that, it just opens the audio up in a new browser tab. You do have to click the button. 
Select your audio from your file explorer and then it attaches. With our audio uploaded, click generate. Now this takes us to the creations tab at the top and then it puts us on the avatar video. So under creations, we have creations in these different tools, avatar video, AI video, AI photo, and other tools. And then under that, it has them grouped into one of three categories, either completed, generating, or failed. So if you're sitting here on this generating page, when this is done generating, this page just goes blank and we'll need to switch over to the completed page to find our AI lip sync video. So it disappeared from generating, we'll flip back over to completed. We can download it straight away or click on it to preview. By default, it's muted, so we will unmute and then play. Imagine lip sync technology so advanced, and this is what you used it for. And you can download from this screen as well via the big old download button. So that's avatar video. That's how we create an AI lip sync video using a photo or video to start with. I found that using a starting video for your lip sync, it turns out a whole lot better. Now to do a lip sync with a pet, you'll wanna to come to this pet lip sync tab. Over on the left, you'll need to supply a photo or use one of theirs. They give you a handful here of critters you can create a lip sync from. These top two, the cat and the dog, are the ones that I added. You can click the photos button to upload an image of your critter. Then over on the right, you can choose from a song text-to-speech, or upload an audio file. They've got quite a few songs in here with demos of lip syncs that they've done. I'm not going to play any of those due to potential copyright issues. I have no idea what these songs are. When you're doing the pet lip sync, you can also do the text-to-speech, type out what you want the pet to say, and then pick one of these voices. Or you can upload your own audio or record your audio. Dreamface has some other tools like the AI video. They've got quite a few templates here that you can start from or you can come down into the prompt box and just type what you want. They have two models to choose from, Dream Video 1.0 and 1.5. I wasn't super impressed with the output. And also at 512 pixels, it's one credit to create. And if you switch that, you can go to 1080p, it's nine credits. Just keep that number in mind when we go look at the pricing page. And if you switch to the Dream Video 1.5 model, it's 480p and that's all there is. On the AI Photo tab, you can do text to image. There's a background remover, a photo enhancer, and an AI image detector, as well as AI filters. If we go to the AI image, you have two models to choose from, either Dream Image or GPT-40. I wasn't impressed with Dream Image. It struggles a bit with hands and other elements of reality. On the other hand, the GPT-40 model model is fine, but using GPT-40 on Dreamface is one credit per image. Keep that in mind when we go look at the pricing. I didn't really experiment with anything on the other tools page except for this Dream Avatar 2.0. That's the one that created the 512 by 512 zoomed in AI lip syncs that made cartoon mouths. One thing people have said they like about Dreamface is that it's pretty cheap for lip sync. So let's take a look at the pricing. So Avatar Video is the tool that worked the best for lip sync here on Dreamface. And with a free account, you can use that five times per day with a max video length of 30 seconds. They will have a watermark and it's pretty prominent. On the pro plan for $29.99 a year, you get unlimited use of avatar video and can go up to 180 seconds per video. The premium plan has unlimited use of avatar video with a max duration of 600 seconds. Some of the tools on the platform require credits like that dream avatar, which didn't work so well, GPT-40 image generation, and the AI video tool. Now, the number of weekly credits you get is pretty small in any of these plans, and it doesn't seem like you'd get many uses out of the tools that require them. Of course, you can buy additional credits. But if we're just looking for the AI lip sync, this avatar video feature, it's currently unlimited in the pro plan, the premium plan, or the three-year pro. Then they have this pay per use option that I don't really understand. In each of these tiers, it just adds the words pay per use and then makes the price higher. Maybe what they mean by that is that it doesn't auto renew. There's a couple of places here on Dreamface, including the homepage that warn us that the pricing is going to be going up soon, so act now and jump on this great deal. I have no idea if that's a sales pitch or if they actually do intend on raising the pricing or making changes to their plans. Of course, everything I show you is always subject to change at any moment. So if you're okay with using a video instead of an image as your starting source for your AI lip sync video, Dreamface does a pretty good job. And being able to generate unlimited lip sync videos for $29.99 a year seems like a good deal. But if you're using Kling and you're happy with Kling, 
use a lip sync feature, then no need to add another tool into the mix. Likewise, if you want to go straight from image to lip sync without generating a video in between, I'd probably look at something like Dramina or Hedra, HeyGen, or even CapCut. My name is Bob. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining, and I hope you'll come back and see me in another video.